Connor Murphy and I are taking as part of our brain building stack Nupept and Paracetam. Two kinds of the dark side of biohacking. Connor's going to talk about his approach to rebuilding his brain. Then we're going to go over what they have in common, Nupept and Paracetam. And then lastly, what are the differences, including dosages, half lives, and effects. All right. Connor, well, what are you we, using them for? We all know that my brain was absolutely shattered, so it's been a wonderful journey building it back and becoming a normal human again. So, yes, I take, I take Paracetam periodically and Nupept periodically as well. Nupept to me, since the half-life is so short, I use it for a quick boost of mental clarity, maybe if I need to wake up in the morning or I have a short task that I want to accomplish, I take that and have some quick, acute mental clarity and focus. Seems to go away pretty quickly, but powerful in the moment. And then paracetam seems to last longer and it also seems to have a more long-term effect, I believe, if you keep taking it consistently as well. It's originally used to prevent Alzheimer's, am I correct? Yeah, yeah. so very powerful. Improves learning, cognition, memory, and so I enjoy taking that as well. I definitely have, feel a, a salient effect from it. So usually I'll take the new Pept if I want to feel that instant nootropic effect. It's one of the unmistakably, unmistakably effective nootropics. And then paracetam I'll take if I want four, five, six hours of mental performance, whereas the new Pept, you know, I'm looking at less than, a, less than an hour. So they can be taken together. New Pept would kick in faster and last shorter, but then the paracetam would continue to work after the new Pept. So both are nootropics, meaning that they improve cognition without acting like a stimulant. So they don't increase your heart rate very much. Even secondarily it could, but they're not stimulants like caffeine. Most people think of taking something that boosts energy for mental performance, which doesn't really increase mental performance long-term and also has short-term side effects. So nootropics are the class of compounds that we want to use to actually build our brain, not just give us a temporary boost in energy. Uh, now, both of them work through the acetylcholine pathway, which means that we should be supplementing with alpha-GPC or CDP-choline or citicholine. CDP-choline and citicholine are the same at the same time because that increases our acetylcholine reservoir in our brain for which these nootropics from the racetam family, like Nupept and Paracetam, can then work to allow us to tap in and use that increased amount of acetylcholine for all of our brain functions, especially memory and learning and focus. Now I notice if my brain is deficient or not functioning very well on the acetylcholine pathway or deficient in acetylcholine, I feel brain fog. So for me, the fastest fix for brain fog is to take alpha GPC or CDP choline along with Nupept, that would be the fastest, or Paracetam to last five or so hours. Now the reason I take them is for mostly the immediate effect because there's other nootropics that have more of a long-term brain building effect but these also do have long-term brain building effects. If I had to give a ratio, I'd say I'd use these like 50% for in the moment and 50% for the long-term brain building versus some things only work one or the other. So there is a long-term benefit. The more you use it, it's, it's actually the opposite. Like you'd think the more you use a stimulant or something, the more you're gonna break your brain, the more you're trading your health for performance. But when it comes to racetams and especially all nootropics for the most part, we're building the brain for the long term so that we get the immediate benefit, but we also get the long term benefits. Now, here's some of the differences. Nupept is much, much more potent. So the dosage is usually 10 to 30 milligrams. Now, you're taking 30 milligram capsules. Mm -hmm. This is unmistakably effective. This is the dosage that for sure everybody would feel. But we can start with something lighter, like 10 milligrams if we were just starting out. But 30 milligrams if we want to feel it without question. And then with the paracetam, the dosage is usually 1,200 to 4,800 milligrams per day, much, much higher. The capsules you're taking are 800 milligrams. You're probably only taking one of each as part of your stack. You could significantly increase that dosage and you could see what paracetam is capable of mm -hmm. because you felt Nupept being very powerful for mental learning and focus and uh, mental motivation and clarity of thinking and speed of thinking. Uh, for a short period of time, but you probably haven't felt what paracetam is capable of if you increase the dosage. So if you're taking 800 milligrams now, imagine you take 1600 milligrams or 2400 milligrams, you're gonna feel it a lot more. But the more you take, the more choline, which would be the source from alpha GPC or CDP choline that you would take along with it. Both of them are neuroprotective, so they're also protecting our brain from damage that we're subjecting ourselves to on a daily basis. And one of the reasons I use it is to help prevent Alzheimer's. 
because I am definitely going to get Alzheimer's and dementia. There's no question. I have the genes for it. My family had it. My grandfather, my grandmother both had it. They completely lost their mind before they passed away. And if I don't take nootropics to prevent that, then I will have Alzheimer's. These medications are actually researched and approved in other countries for Alzheimer's. They're just not used in America for that. So I'm actually using them for the intended purpose in addition to using it for the acute benefits of increased mental focus and clarity in the moment. Now the half-life uh, is a big difference as well because Nupept is 30 to 60 minutes and Paracetam is four to five hours. And that's the half-life. So it, it works longer than that, but that's when you know it's about half as effective as it was when you first took it or first kicked in. Uh, both of them have the long-term benefits of increasing BDNF and uh, increasing mental performance and preventing the destruction of our mental performance over time. Uh, but they can be taken together. We're taking them together sometimes. Sometimes we're taking them separate. Uh, but we're trying to take at least one racetam every day, whether it's Nupept one day, Paracetam another day. And this is for the long-term benefits as well, not just for the short-term benefits. And we're taking, in addition, we're taking NSI-189, and every once in a while we'll take something like Dihexa for the long-term benefits. Uh, so overall, these are both very similar. They mainly differ in as far as the active life and half-life. Nupept working much faster at a much smaller dosage, but also not working as long. And then Paracetam working longer, taking a little bit longer to kick in, and requiring a much, much higher dosage. Other than that, the effects are pretty similar. So they can be used together or they can be used separate either or. And remember to always include uh, an alpha GPC or CDP or CD choline base so you don't run out of choline in the brain and end up with brain fog, which is the opposite of what you want. Be swollen and soul, friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution. A day natty is a day wasted. Keep following as we fix Connor's brain. <laughs>